five, four, three, two, one. Murder was the first track that I wrote off of Seasonal Depression, so that's track number two on the album. Um, that was the first one I wrote because I was looking for the style that I wanted to play in. I wanted it to be bluesy, but I wanted it to be hip hop, but it's had to have the band element. And so I wrote Murder first, and then we took that song on the road. Um, we went and did a tour out in California and Arizona, Texas, and uh, it was directly after that, it was the day I came home from that tour I wrote I Like because I was homesick and I missed all of everything that was down here and the verse, I've been on the road for seven straight days, like that was literally, I uh, was day seven, I came home and I was like, nah, I got some shit to say. Are we allowed to cuss? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> To understand Chopper and I and our dynamic is to is to understand that you know what he does say for the most part is real on the albums and for me you know what he's trying to relate to the audience you know with his music like I felt directly already you know because him and I uh, yeah we're cousins but like essentially we're just like you know consistent people in each other's lives and uh, more consistently than I, you know, I could say for a lot of uh, my family. And with that, you know, we experience things together. Once we had the two songs, and it was like, look, we got to start. Uh, we got to make this into an album. Um, 27 and the Angel of Death was written after I came off the road on a separate tour, um, where we almost, I almost died in a car wreck in the middle of the night. And so I came home from that tour and was like, yo, I seen some shit. So when, when he says he wants to make people feel the music, like there is a feeling there, like seasonal depression for me, personally with this album, it's like, you know, I came in directly off the road, off of doing, you know, other things and, you know, scary projects. Not scary, but like, you know, at the time, like, you know, the unknown, which is a bit scary, uh, to say, hey, cousin, like, you know, you, you started writing these, these songs on the road, you know, in California, this place, that place, and the other. And I came back and I was just like, all right, let's just do an album. Like, let's do this album. And then, you know, John being the, the mastermind that he is, he just pff, cooks it all together. And uh, some of the magic that happens in the studio is uh, not knowing exactly what we'll be doing. And that's, that, that's a beautiful part of this music. I was concentrating less on trying to write music and more on trying to make people feel things when they hear my music. I was trying to get feelings. I was trying to make people feel things with seasonal depression. The most genuine way of doing that is just keeping it real, telling them exactly what happened. And that was, yeah, that was the writing process behind that one. And baby, oh, I like what Like, who the fuck are these guys? And then like, you know, you look at us and then like you hear the music that, you know, has been created and it's not, it's just, it's like, I, I figure people would want to know, like, you know, some honesty and truth. Cause that's what the music is. I mean, we are the music. Yeah, so you could check us out on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play. There's Deezer, YouTube, Amazon. There's uh, iHeartRadio, uh, Claro Musica. Claro Musica. <laughs> there is uh, Sav. Yes, good job. I was thinking about that. Media Net and Shazam. <laughs> I mean, I like to listen to us on YouTube or uh, Spotify, if you pay for Spotify. If you don't, then you gotta listen to some like Ed Sheeran in there, you know. But that's who they mix us with, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs>
you know? That's cool. I'll take that, Nick. <laughs> I'll take that. I've always thought of myself as like a more Hispanic. <laughs> <laughs>